Well, honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, my dear students, welcome to my class. To begin with, I'd like to share with you one of my personal experiences. Three years ago, I came to Shanghai for a trip and met a friend of mine. Then I said to him, hey, you look so great, even younger than the last time we met. Expecting his compliment in return, I asked him, how do I look? Then he said, oh, you look fat. <laughs> his words made me feel so awkward, leaving me completely wordless. Then he offered to treat me to dinner to welcome me. After enjoying the big meal, out of politeness, I said to him that let me pay the bill tonight. Then he replied immediately, no, 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 let me treat tonight. Then I insisted, let me treat, okay? Then he said, okay, you treat. <laughs> Awkward again, to tell you a secret, we haven't caught each other ever since. So, actually, the friendship then overturns easily. <laughs> Having friends forever is the long cherished dream from the bottom of our heart. But one thing is for sure, we are making some friends and we are also losing some of them. So it is natural for us to talk about a question. Why do some friendships end? So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to have a discussion about the article written by Alison Hunter. Now before reading the passage, I'd like you try to make a prediction about the title through brainstorming. Now, would you please use one word to summarize the reason why some friendships end? Yeah, this young lady. Uh, untrust. Untrust, thank you. Distrust, right? Okay, then? Change. Change, thank you, good. This handsome boy. Conflict. Conflict, thank you. Thank you for your sharing. Then some possible reasons are displayed on the screen here. Betrayal. Indifference, selfishness, disagreement, rumor, jealousy, disrespect, distrust. Undoubtedly, there are far more reasons which can account for the end of friendship, right? Okay, so bearing your prediction in your mind, are you curious about what the, answer, the author's answers are? Yes, let's start our, uh, our journey of learning this essay together. Let's take a look at our learning objectives. You are supposed to read for the theme and structure, appreciate the writing feature, and think about some questions critically. And I want you to develop a positive attitude towards nurturing friendship. We'll go through four major steps. Exploration of the text, appreciation of the writing feature, critical thinking, and finally, some assignment for you. Well, let's get started. This essay is obviously comprised of three parts the introduction, body, and conclusion. The author introduces the topic by quoting a famous saying from Henry David Thoreau, an American essayist, poet, and philosopher. So shall we read the famous saying together? The only danger in friendship is that it will end. Thank you. Then the author shared with us her personal experience that she received an email from a reader that why do some friendships and then she offered her insights and some analysis as to why friendships end. At the end of the essay, she concludes and poses a question. Friendships can end for many reasons, but now what? Can we change their course and turn them into friendships that last? Okay, now it's your time to do a reading task. Try to fill in the blanks, use one word whose initial letter has already been given through brain uh, skimming and scanning. Try to read the passage as quickly as possible. Shall we work in groups U3, group one, and U3, group two, three, and four, okay? Each group responsible for one part, 20 seconds for you to do that. Here we go. <laughs> Well, time is up. Then, group number one, shall we read the sentence together? First, the situation friends face may change. Thank you. Then, number two. Second, the friends themselves may change. Three. 
one or both of them might neglect it, right? Okay, then number four, conflicts can also cause the end of friendships. Thank you so much. Now, let's take a step closer and try to explore something through detailed reading, okay? <clears throat> there are many language points and grammatical usages which can attract us so much. Especially in paragraph five and six, we can see clearly the parallel structure. If flowers don't get exposed to, if a flourishing flower gets stepped on, if a flower gets trampled on. Man, trample on. What does it mean? Trample on. If you trample on something, it means you step heavily on it and damage it. Here is a translation job for you. Would you please try to translate the Chinese sentence into English? Yeah. Please tell those children not to trample on my flowers. Wow, great job. Thank you. Please tell those kids not to trample on my flowers. Okay? Then we can see flowers, a flower, and a flower everywhere. A question for you here. Is the writer really talking about flower? No. What is she talking about? Friendship. Friendship. Good. Okay. So in order to help you better understand, I'll prepare a picture for you. Then Flowers refer to friendship here. So what does sunlight and get water mean? Sunlight and get water? Friendship get, uh, friendship get care and yeah. um, commitment. Thank you. Okay, so friendship needs care, commitment, devotion, dedication, time, energy, right? Okay, and so on. Uh, what about wither and die? What about wither and die? Your voice. Thank you. And that the intimacy may decrease and then the friend may fade away. Thank you. So that means a uh, kind of friendship may get affected or even end, right? Thank you. So since the author has compared friendship to flowers, then my question for you, what else would you like to compare friendship to? Use your imagination, please. Yeah, this boy, the second row. I'm sorry, can you, could you please just... Yeah, uh, since the author has compared friendship to flowers, what else would you like to compare friendship to? Use your imagination. I may think it's like the stars. Stars? Why? Can you explain the reasons? We, we, we know. We cannot always see them in the sky, but we know they're there. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> impressive, really impressive imagination. Good. Then, if I were you, I would like to compare it to the wine. Do you know why? Because the wine will become more fragrant and aromatic as time goes on, in the same way as friendships do. On the contrary, the wine will also become sour unless it is carefully preserved. So will friendships, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, right here, right now, we are talking about a very important rhetorical device. Can you name it? Okay, that is metaphor. Do you know what is metaphor? Yeah, metaphor is a figure of speech containing an implied comparison in which a word or phrase, ordinary and primary use of one thing is applied to another. Then the function of using metaphor is to make the impressions more powerful, clear, vivid, and effective. One of the most classical examples in English literature is the sentence by Shakespeare. All the world is a stage in which all the world is a very abstract concept for us, but we are quite familiar with stage in our life, right? <clears throat> Shakespeare used the metaphor here, try to, in order to help us better understand what the world is like. Thank you. So that is metaphor. One important reason why we are so attracted by the essay is the metaphor employed by the author. The other important reason why we are so fascinated by the essay is the end. That's to say, the last paragraph of this essay. Shall we read it together? <clears throat> okay, okay. friendships may end for many reasons, but now what? Can we change them into, yeah, friendship that last? Well, as for this question, maybe some of you might say, yes, we can. Others might say, no, we can't. Now, a question for you to think about and discuss with your group members is, what is your answer 
to the question at the end of the essay. I do believe that all of you have your own de decision, have your own understanding. Then one minute for you to work in groups, discuss it with each other later. I want to hear your voice. Here we go. Yes or no, we know we can. Yes. Okay. Yes, we, yes, we can or no, we can. Last time. Okay, time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear your voice. Then, in a moment, you. Um, yes, we can. Yes, we can. And state your reasons. Uh, we can uh, talk a, a lot in our daily life and yeah. um, buy phones and uh, uh, ever love. Thank you. Because of the internet, we can communicate smoothly, right? Yeah. Very convenient. Then. Well, I think that it depends. Depends. Because everybody has his or her boundaries, and we know that maintaining a friendship requires the adjustments. And once the adjustments is beyond his or her boundaries, that the maintenance might not be successful. Thank you. Wow, really fantastic dialectical point of view, right? Okay, then <coughs> here. Some of you might say, yes, we can, and others might say, no, we can't. Then I'd like to share with you a sentence. That is, there actually is an end in friendship. Have you ever noticed that there is an over in lover, there is a lie in belief, there is an end in friendship? Interesting, huh? Right? So, in, if we were in this situation, what shall we do? What shall we do? Sometimes we can do nothing but accept the reality. Then what shall we do? Just let it go, right? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the wise choice for us to make. Then some of you might say, yes, we can. Another sentence. When two people really care about each other, they will always find a way to make it work, no matter how hard it is. If we're in this situation, what should we do? We should try our best and try everything possible to make it last, right? So whether to let it go or to make it last depends on our own decision. Just follow our heart, right? Okay, thank you. Now, after talking so much, I want to tell you that both the two kinds of relationships are worth our treasuring because everybody comes into our life for a reason. Everybody comes into our life for a special reason. Then we should appreciate their role as part of our story. Now, after talking so much, I want to lead you to reflect on the topic. A year ago, I got married. This is not the point here. My point here today is the photo taken at my wedding ceremony of my friends and me. Can you see the big smile on the five big boys' face? Yes, right? I want to tell you, without the five big boys, I would never have a perfect wedding ceremony. They have taught me what the true friendship is. True friendship is the busy figures of your friends you see at the moment when you step on your car to welcome your bride. True friendship is the well-wishing tears glistening on the eyes of your friends when, you, when the wedding march sounds. I regard them as my amazing close friends, so I'm determined to make our friendship last forever. Ladies and gentlemen, how time flies. Let's review what we have learned. First, the main idea of this topic. What's the main idea? The author just discusses the Man reasons why friendships end. That's very easy. The number two, what is the writing feature? The author makes use of metaphor. Yeah, okay. 
to illustrate his point of view. Then number three, the, the attitude we should hold towards nurturing friendship. It is fragile, but we need to cherish it, right? Okay, thank you. So some assignment for you. Here, number one, just write an essay on the topic of why do some friendships turn into like Taiwan using metaphor. Number two, do further reading. Number three, after learning this essay, I'd like you to try to get in touch with your long lost friend in the way you think the most appropriate. Don't have your cherished friendship gone just because of your momentary negligence or sloth. Trust me, they are waiting for you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's all for my class. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number three. Let's hear the questions for you. Okay. Okay, tell me, why didn't you call back your friend after you treat him? <laughs> after I? After you, after you paid for the meal. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you call back him first? Thank you, thank you, yeah, okay. Uh, first of all, I have to say that it's only a very slight joke to lead in my class and uh, in my <laughs> real situation because <laughs> uh, I am an outgoing person. Okay, suppose after, this yeah. is a real situation. Thank you, okay. So can you imagine what the reasons could be? Uh, Okay. Sometimes it's a very sensitive to topic to step on money, okay? But we have to say that money is an important issue for us to think about. If I always keep uh, treating my friends again and again, then we just lose the balance of friendship. Because friendship needs the mutual relation, it's mutual dedication and devotion. Although, maybe uh, I am in a better level of uh, economic, uh, economic situation, right? Okay, but I want to say that we have to show care and support to each other. So I think if I always keep paying uh, for my, paying the meal, bill for my friends, then that is So you matter. decide to end this friendship, right? <laughs> uh, Perhaps it doesn't end. I, I, say, I said it might end, but I want to say that, uh, but it really, to a certain extent, it really affects our friendship, it, it really affects our feeling between each other. Yeah, that is not real friendship. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. let's turn to the last paragraph. In okay. fact, my two questions are closely related. Yeah. Um, you ask the students to say yes or no about can we keep our friendship lasting forever, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, do you know the term binary opposition? Harry? Binary opposition. Binary opposition? Maybe you, you do not know. Yeah. It means it is an right. either or case or yes, no cause. Oh. Not the case. That is binary opposition. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think this, this student answered is very well. Yeah. She said it depends. Yeah. Right. So why did you, when you designed it, why, why did you just, start, just say yes and no? Yeah. Why did you think, why didn't you Think, think of something else in between. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, th this question is designed for students to uh, enhance their communication ability and also help them better understand the passage. But here, uh, I just ask them. But that is, is in the critical thinking yeah. part. Yeah. So I think it is very important to give them another choice. Yeah. So uh, the question displayed on the screen is, what is your answer to the question? Mm -hmm. That is okay, you say, that depends. You, you, you can also say, yes, you can, no, we can't. But I lead them to think in two opposite ways. No, that is what I mean, binary opposition. That is okay. not very good. Thank you, okay. Okay, Maybe thank I'll you. Pay more attention to that in a later teaching. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.